Nancy A. for Yarn, and today I'm going to show you how to knit ribbing on your Addy knitting machine. So let's get started. So to knit the ribbing for the cuff of this mitten, we're basically going to be knitting regular stockinette net stitch that the Addy makes on its own, and then we're going to go back, unravel some of the columns, and pick them up backwards to create those purl ridges. So I'm going to be knitting 10 rows of ribbing. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear my row counter and knit for 10 rows and then we'll work the ribbing part. Alright, there's 10 rows. So because the Addy Pro has 22 needles, there's really only one way you can divide that up. You can either do two sets of 11 or 11 sets of two. So what we're going to be doing is 11 sets of two. We're going to be doing what we're going to be leaving one column alone, purl ribbing the next one, leave one alone and rib the next one, leave one alone, rib the next one all the way around because we have an even number of stitches. So it'll come out seamless and it'll match all the way around. So what I'm going to do first, this next round that we're going to work is going to count as one regular knitted stockinette stitch round. I'm going to knit the first stitch and rib the second one. So to rib the second stitch, I'm going to pick up the loop off of that second needle and I'm going to stretch my knitting out a little bit. So I'm going to unpick 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I want to make sure and hold on so that the tenth one doesn't unravel, ten. So now that loop is from my cast on and I'm going to hang on to that because I don't want to lose that. And then I'm going to use a crochet hook to pick up that loop. This is the Susan Bates style hook shape which I don't usually use, but it works better for Addy, for the Addy for picking up stitches that we're dropping on purpose. So I'm just going to pick up each one of these strands of yarn that runs horizontally, and you just want to make sure that you pick them up in order. So if you pick them up out of order, then you're going to have twists in your, in your knitting that you don't want to be there. So I'm just going to pick these all up in order and pull them through the loop that was already on my hook. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that stitch back on the needle, press the fabric down so that it goes below the red tabs, and then I'm going to do the next ribbed column on the next even numbered stitch. So that was needle number two, now I'm going to do it again on needle number four. So I'm going to go ahead and use the loom pick to pick up that stitch off the needle and drop it for 10 rows. And when I get to the ninth, once I've unpicked the ninth one, before I unpick the tenth one, I like to make sure that I'm hanging on to the loop that the tenth one is going to come out of. That's the loop we want to pick up with the crochet hook and pick up those stitches all the way up to the needle. We're pulling each horizontal strand of yarn through the loop we already had on the hook. All right. And I'm going to keep doing this to every even numbered stitch all the way around until I get back to this last stitch of the round. All 
All right, so now I have finished ribbing the knitting all the way around, and now I'm going to have a ribbed cuff for this mitten. Now just always keep in mind that when you work a ribbed cuff, the round that you are knitting when you are ribbing the purl columns counts as one round of regular stockinette stitch fabric. So go ahead and knit however many rows you're going to knit after your cuff, minus one row. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment below telling me how this technique turned out for you. And don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you're always notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.